Hello and welcome to the John Stoltrager Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Swimming Coach John Stoltrager. Coach, um, seems like the season just started, but we're almost two months in. Um, just talk about how the season's gone so far and how uh, both teams are progressing. Um, progressing pretty well. We, um, you know, we started with our meet at Widener, and, and again, we are about two months in, and um, it's nice to see our kids improving. Um, times are, are starting to come down, and, and you can see a real difference in the team, um, not only physically, but mentally from, you know, the first meet of the year to yeah. our meet we just had last week. Yeah, yeah, and the meet we had last week, uh, most recent meet, you were home against Lebanon Valley, um, you know, close a close loss for the men, and then the women were able to defeat Lemon Valley. Um, just talk about that meet, how well I know, you know, Melly had a good meet and uh, some other people as well. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we really are progressing, and, and um, I think the training is really starting to take hold. On the men's side, you know, it was probably our best meet we've had in, in a really long time. We won um, every single individual event but one. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had my, our boys swim in some events back-to-back, um, yeah. so they literally have to hop out of the water and, and get right back in and, and start swimming again yeah. so um you know on the guy side i thought it was a great meet and the girl side again you know we won the majority of of the events mm-hmm. um you know and again i think it showed just how our training is really is really taking hold and, and they're really doing some good stuff yeah uh, obviously that helps you know particularly on the men's side if guys are jumping out of the pool and jumping right back in with that endurance because obviously obviously again as we've talked about the passion you're aiming towards the conference championship and to build that stamina build that endurance knowing that when you get to that point, yeah, it's a long four days, but you won't necessarily have to be doing that and jumping in back to back. So that can only help going forward. Yeah, I mean, and we do that stuff at practice. We, we yeah. kind of train like that where we'll do some really hard sprinting um, work from the block and literally get right back up and do it again uh, with no break, you know. And, and again, I think that prepares them for, like you said, not only, you know, what we had to do on Saturday, but, but again, for the conference meet. And, you know, when you say, okay, we're doing just say five 200s from the block, and then you go to the conference meet and all you have to do is one. Right. You know, so mentally, you know, I, they're usually ready for what they need to do. Yeah. Now, from dual meet wise, you take a little bit of break here for finals. Um, but right after the first of the year, I know, I know you're still practicing here for a week or so. But, um, you know, right after the first of the year, you uh, head down to Puerto Rico for a training trip. And that's got to be exciting for the team. And I'm sure they're looking forward to that. They're, they're really looking forward to it. It's, it's kind of a double-edged sword because, you know, while we're in a tropical environment um, and it's nice and warm, um, it's hard. We, yeah. We'll train um, twice a day, every day, plus dry land. So they're probably training four and a half hours, five hours a day yeah. for close to 10 days. So um, it's nice that we can get away. It's yeah. nice where they can go to the beach, you know, after practice mm-hmm. instead of going to their dorm room where it's, you know, it's rainy and 35 degrees here. Right. Um, they get to lay out on the beach. And um, so it makes it a little less painful. Yeah. But you know, it's an important time of the year for us because, you know, we do a ton of training and mentally they get so much tougher, you know, on the training trip than they do any 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 other time of the year. So it's while it might sound fun to a lot of people, it's yeah. it's really an important part of our of our training. Yeah. And I'm sure for you, you know, for you as a coach, I'm sure it's nice to okay, yeah, obviously there's the beach time, but basically like you said, you've got them for four or five hours a day where all their work, all their concentrating on swimming. You know, they don't have classes, they don't have other commitments on campus. They're just doing their uh, their swimming work. Yeah, literally, they're stuck on an island. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is which is, honest to God, the truth. And there's no one, no family. There's no friends. It's just the team yeah. and the coaches. And it's a great bonding experience. And while we haven't gone for a couple of years, you know, the you know the kids are excited about it, but. Again, they're excited for the beach, but I'm excited again for, you know, the ancillary effect that it, it has on the team. And, and again, while they'll, they'll be mentally tougher than they were when they left, you know, they'll be closer unit because yeah. all they have to depend on when they're there is, is their teammates. And, yeah. you know, that it goes a long way in, in, in creating a great bond. Yeah. And like you, that's always going to touch on the teamwork. And obviously, while swimming is a very individual sport, obviously, it's a team sport as well in the collegiate environment. So to be able to build that team body and camaraderie makes everybody maybe want to swim a little bit faster for their teammate. Sure. I mean, again, you're putting four people in a room. So, you know, you have to be respectful of your, your teammates as far as that goes. And you're tired. And, and again, it, it creates this bond that, that you can't replicate anywhere else. So, again, it, while it sounds like a vacation, it's, it's definitely an important piece of the puzzle. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, well, we thank you for your time. Sounds like star season's been successful, and uh, we'll chat probably after you get back from Puerto Rico. Great. Thank you very much. All right. For John Stoltrager, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the John Stoltrager Show.